Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to explain you about 4 important flows which are regularly used in those projects. And please watch it till the end so that you don't miss the important points which I am going to explain. So before proceeding further, if you are new to my channel or if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first node which I created is a range node. Okay. So range node basically holds up the data which we have provided. So that is like 1 to 100. So that is the range which I have provided to the range. Okay. So in the input I am giving a value as 1000. So this 1000 value which I am going to trigger. Okay. So in this range, so it will be holding up to the 100 itself, not up to 1000. Okay. So you can see here the map the input range is map that input range I have provided is 1 to 1000. Okay, actions you can see that there are three type of actions which are provided. So I'll be selecting the default one that is the scale the message property. So okay. So you can select any other ranges which is required. So here the two target range is 1 to 100. Okay. That is the range I am going to provide here. Click on done. So when I trigger it, you can see that the day two outputs has been given. One is thousand and one other one is hundred. Okay. So normal without range which is given, giving the output of thousand. And with the range which I have provided, it is giving 100. So max range which I have given was 100. So the response you are getting is 100. Okay. So this was the first low. So this is the second flow, link in and link out. So when I try to uh, trigger this, so I have created one node here as an input, which is taking an input here and in another flow, it will give the output for us okay so linking between the two flows okay so let me trigger it when you click on the trigger i have provided the values 100 so 1000 so when you click on that you can see that the response is 1000 okay i'll go to that flow you can see that this, this is the debugger which gives the responses for you So this was my second flow. Third, third flow is error catching. So error catching nothing but uh, if any flows having an error, okay, that will be catched into the catch node or a error node, okay. So you can check that. I have provided some inputs. One is message one and message two. So but I am returning the wrong values. That is message one along with the message three, which is not present. So this should give the error for me. Click on done. So let me trigger this. When you click on the trigger, you can see that error message. Message 3 is not defined. So this is one of the important node. Please do remember. So last last is filter node. So filter node is nothing but a, a data which we have provided. If the same data we provide again, so it should not trigger or it should not invoke. So you can see that there are different modes you can select. But by default which is there, I will be keeping it. So I will be providing the input as 1 and 2. If I click on the first inject node, so it will give the responses as 1 as expected. But you click on the same uh, node, it won't give any responses because the value which I am passing is already present. If I click on 2, you can see the result here because it is a, another value or a different value. So alternatively, you can click. But if you click on the same node, it won't give the responses for you.
so these are the simple uh, four flows which i try to explain you this is a very important flows which you regularly use in your projects if you have any doubts please comment down below please check the description for more videos if you like this content kindly comment down below please like this video and kindly subscribe my youtube channel thanks thanks a lot